Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going over Unit 2, Lesson 6, which is about pheromones and behavior. So, pheromones is derived from the Greek words pharaoh and hormone, which means I carry and stimulating. So, pheromones are chemicals that carry stimulation. In mammals, it is mainly linked to mating behaviors. For example, in monkeys, pheromones can be used as a signal of fertility. Then we have the main olfactory bulb, which is the main region in the brain responsible for processing smell. In mammals, we have a separate structure, which is called the meronasal organ, or VNO, that connects to a special region called the accessory olfactory bulb. It is debatable if humans actually have the accessory olfactory bulb as it disappears gradually as we age and some do not have the VNO while some do. But even those that does have the VNO, it appears to be non-functional. So criticisms of research in human pheromones. Population validity. The sample that's usually used in pheromone research are volunteers. So majority of them are young and educated. Participant bias, demand characteristics. Many of the volunteers participate in multiple studies. They have an idea on how researchers can deceive them. They are aware of the processes that are involved in these studies. Some details may reveal the intention of the study which could lead to them changing their behavior based on that instead of what the study is supposed to invoke them. Ecological validity. The distortion of variables can lead to the study to not be true in a real world setting. So the different levels of the pheromones could be unrealistic and could be hard to relate to a real world situation. Internal validity. Confounding variables are very much present in these type of studies. So controlling the variables are very important. Next we have the experimenter bias. The behavior and responses of the researchers or the assistants in the research are hard to control and keep track. So their responses could have bias in them. Construct validity. Many other smells can have an effect on behavior. To be a pheromone, the substance must have the functions of communication between two individuals. Next, we have ethics. Ethical guidelines in pheromone studies can be violated and are hard to avoid to violate. And lastly, we have replicability. Pheromone studies are hard to replicate. Even though some are successful, it, is, it does not guarantee a successful replication because of the many different variables in the study. Mm -hmm. And that is it for pheromones. Hope to see you next lesson where we would be discussing genes. Bye! <laughs>